Hey everyone, this is Chad. This is Serena. And, and welcome, welcome to Edu Life. Life. Edu Life is an online show made by students for students. We have an awesome season ahead, so definitely check us out with our awesome adventures and awesome segments at our Faculty of Education YouTube channel called Edu Life. So you don't miss any episodes, make sure you subscribe to EduLife. All you have to do is click this button. This week you're going to be joining me on an awesome adventure through a tour of the Eka building, the Cates building, and the Ed building. So definitely check me out on this week's segment. For all the humanities students, I'll be taking you through Hub, the Tory buildings, and Rutherford Library. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Goff and I have the pleasure today of introducing you to our president of the ESA, Avery Awanya. How are you today? I'm good, how are you? I'm wonderful, thanks. Some of you might actually not know, especially if you're first year, what the ESA does and what it stands for. So could you do maybe a little introduction for us? Of course. So the ESA stands for the Education Students Association and we're actually the faculty association and we're the Alberta Teachers Association student local. So when you join the ESA, you actually become part of our faculty association, but more importantly, you become a student member of the Alberta Teachers Association. Okay, and so with this membership, maybe you could explain it a little bit more as well as how you might get it and where to go for it. Absolutely, so the membership is $10, um, and you actually go down to our office, which is in the basement of Education South. Our office is B28 Education South. Uh, so you just go in there and you fill up a nice little membership form and then that you become a student member and you get all of the benefits of being an ESA member through that. And for personal experience, I actually do recommend it. Uh, sadly, last year, first semester, had no idea about it. Second semester, got it and it was one of the best things. So I really recommend looking into it as well. Uh, with the uh, ESA and the ATA, that, that lets you get into the resources through the Alberta Teachers Association, am I right? Absolutely. One of the great benefits of being an ATA student member is we actually provide professional development seminars every month, uh, so you get the benefit of having specific ATA people come out and teach you about specific things. For example, the first one we're having is Thursday, September 26th, and it's ATA is coming out and teaching us about collaborative learning, oh, so wow. it's fantastic resources like that. You also get access to the ATA library, which is great for your practicums and whatnot. As well as another great thing about the ESA is you do volunteering. And so for kids who want experience, could you elaborate more on what they could volunteer for? Absolutely. So there's basically two different realms that you could do uh, for volunteering. You can either be an ESA general volunteer, so that's helping us with um, our day-to-day -day office duties, so helping us sell memberships, do lockers, that kind of stuff. It's fantastic if you're just kind of wanting to get to know the education building better, if you want to get to know some education students. It's great. It only requires one hour a week, so not a lot of commitment. Or the other is more of a specialty, um, so you get to join one of the committees. You can join the social committee and help plan events, or you can join the fundraising committee and help fundraise for our charity, which is a better world. Uh, or you can, if you're graduating this year, you can help with the graduation banquet and help planning that. So there's two different areas that you can volunteer with. Perfect. Well, that's great. And I hope we all informed you a little bit more and come join the ESA. Thank you, Avery. No problem. Thank you. Hey, everyone. This is Serena Lee reporting to you at the Faculty of Education um, cafeteria. So as you can see, it's the Ed Cafe right behind us. And today we're going to have an exclusive tour and I'm going to be teaching you how to get to from the Education Building to the ECA Building without actually going outside. So that's pretty cool. So if you're a biology major or a physical science major, you're definitely going to be running into the ECA Building sometime in the near future. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Let's find the ECA Building. Hey guys, so right now we are at the Education South second floor Pedway. Um, and how you get there is it's actually right, you go right up the elevators in Education South and you turn to your right and the Pedway is right there. So right now we're gonna cross the Pedway to get to the Cates building. So we'll do that right now. Okay, so now that we've finished walking to the Pedway, just follow me. We're gonna take a right here. we just got to the Cates building. So the Cates building is actually primarily for health professional students like medicine and dentistry. But what I personally love most about Cates is that you can get coffee here. Oh my gosh, and you don't have to go outside. So why don't we go downstairs right now and check it out. Of 
Okay, so we've now made our way to the first floor of Kate's. And as you can see, I got my lovely coffee here with me. So if you're ever in Ed Building in the middle of winter and you're like, man, I wish I had coffee, don't walk outside all the way to Cabin ETLC. Just make 20 seconds to just run right across that pedway from Ed to Kate's and get your awesome coffee. So let's um, get back on track and head over to Eka now. Okay guys, so now that we're on top of stairs of second floor Kate's, we're gonna walk all the way across this hallway to the Eka building. So let's do that right now. So now we are on the second pedway of our tour and it's the Eka pedway. So it leads from the Kate's building to the Eka building. So let's go through here and get to Eka. And congratulations, you have made it to the Echo Building. So the, actually, I've actually come down from the second floor to the first floor. Reason being is because I actually want to show you where the Health Sciences LRT station is. So it's right behind me, behind these doors, but we're gonna go and check it out. Okay, so we've come out those doors and right now we, um, we are right at the Health Sciences LRT station. It's right behind me, the platform. And so you learned something new today. You can get to the LRT station via Ed Building, via Kate's, and via Eka. As a social studies major, I spend a lot of time in buildings that are far away from education. So today, I'm going to show you a few of them, starting with Hub. Unfortunately, it's kind of far away. I'm glad I wore my running shoes today. Now where were we? Hub, yes. Hub's a great place to learn about on campus, because there's a lot of things going on there. It's a great place to grab a bite to eat if you're hungry, to sit down and hang if you have a break, or to study. All right, I'm here with Angel. So Angel, what do you like so much about Hub? Um, it's pretty convenient and a lot of food here. And yeah, I usually have my lunch here during my break, yeah. You heard it here first, kids. Now I've got Giselle. So Giselle, what's your favorite place to eat in Hub? Well, personally, I like to eat at Edo just because it's like, the smell is really strong, so yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. So what was your name? Stephanie. All right, and Stephanie, what faculty are you in? I'm in the Faculty of Science. Sciences. And what is your favorite restaurant in Hub, Stephanie? Um, probably like Edo or Subway, something like that. Same here. And uh, what's your favorite thing about Hub? Um, I don't know. It just seems like there's a lot of people, and everyone's really friendly, and there's always someone you could talk to if you need help with anything. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thanks, Stephanie. Yeah. One of the greatest things about Hub is that it is a hub. It connects a lot of things. So next, we're gonna go through the connection from Hub to Rutherford Library. Rutherford's a great place if you're in the humanities and looking for any kind of resources you need. Aside from that, of course, it's an awesome place to study. The last cool thing about Hub is that it connects you to the Tory buildings. So let's take a look. Now that we've gone through the business atrium, we can head down into Tory. There's tons of classrooms in Tory, so whether you're in history, sociology, film studies, pretty much anything, you'll probably spend some time here. So now that we've seen Hub Mall, Rutherford Library, and Tory Buildings, I've got to get to class. So this is Chad Broadman signing off. Until next time.